and welcome to Geeker Play Studio Tutorials. So let's look on some volumetric lights and how we can get best of from that inside the view. So right here example is have it scenery and you can see it's have some uh, trees with lighting preset. It's look interesting but it doesn't look have this kind of mystery effect that I want to apply. So to do this I want to use the volumetric lighting and for example I'm going to use just quadric light and preset this. The one interesting thing about volumetric light or rays that it will produce that for best effect you actually want this light going towards the camera so if our camera position so going this way and sometimes based like if our sun for example is on the side I want to go with the sun direction and maybe a little bit on the side. Okay, so we set up. Next, what I want to do, I want to enable the volumetric light. So we can click by enabling. You can see right here we have some. Um, maybe we need to bring even a little bit closer to camera so I can observe a little bit better. You can see we have it already kind of like mystery, this fog stuff appearing. Let me bring even closer so we have it much stronger effect. Okay, right here probably this is will be good close enough okay and the next what I want to do I want to create those race lights actually and currently they kind of all come together create white so let's click and preview so you can see right here we have a kind of nice mystery but it's not yet like what I wanted so to add those lights, we actually want to use it light gel at the point. I'm going to open and what I'm going to do is use some light gel from um, Pug you could play. The reason is why I'm just like to a little bit more contrast. Okay, also to have it them more enable, we'll go inside the material. And right here, I'm going to switch this 0 0.2. I want to have it very small lines going and function maybe to zero five so it should produce quite a bit small um lights rays right here you can see small lines going to us so the one thing when you start working with the light rays you'll notice that um okay, let me come closer a little bit even it does create but it does not necessarily have it a very nice um let me adjust. Okay, let me click view true so I can see my light. Okay, here yeah, just slightly reposition towards camera so we cover, but right here lights. And that's what happened when we creating some of those arrays, they do not display um, very good quality. So what I want to do, I want to add a little bit more natural look and remove some grayness. So I can see green right here already exists. So it's not necessarily look nicer. Also, maybe this um, light gel doesn't work very well. So I'm going to edit okay. remove this and add a little bit more on turbulence so we have it yeah there you go a bit more random as well on the filters little bit less on a contrast so we don't have it too um, the edges won't be too sharp okay let's right here okay click OK so it's become um, kind of more interesting ways on the ground okay the next what I want to do I want to have it quality best 
and interesting things because if we go and consider render I'm going to use our settings and maybe work with some sub rays or increase quality this is not necessarily will affect our volumetric lighting to increase quality of render we need to go inside volumetric tab and right here increase the quality boost so it can go up to four you can go you actually go inside and you can type your own number of quality but I find it won't be changed that much Four probably will be your best choice for the quality or less if you're going smaller it will be faster render but it's you'll see a lot of grain so I'm going to set uh, let's set right now to minus so we can compare a little bit and then next what I want to do you notice because we have a light gel it's kind of generating these strikes it's how last a uh, light pass but if I want change lighting uh, through the Z index as it's progressed like increase decreasing I want to enable show smoke so right here what's happening is we'll start having this uh, change effect during the light progression so also let me go ahead and decrease this little bit okay and I want to um, also going and maybe slightly modify this Perlin noise we'll add a filter and actually I want to increase a little bit contrast not too much but just slightly so you can notice a little bit more changing when we go through the link of the slides okay so I set quality a little bit less so we can preview okay let's click right now it's take a second to preview and you notice we have it grains right here just start striking again uh, maybe increase a little bit more on the power so we can see more of those lines coming but you can see the grains is just start popping everywhere in some cases this is good effect with a grain if you want to create example as a snowfall or going just create overall line increase amount of the grain and it will look almost like you have a snowfall going in here so you can use this decreasing um, to create some other scenery but for this I want smooth light I don't want this grainy look so we'll go to edit on metric and I'll go all the way to the four as well you know what let's increase a little bit of the string so we can preview a little bit better of this lighting going through okay and one other things what I like to do it's increase softness it will increase softness a little bit right here on the bottom so we'll go preview let's click you notice they're increasing in a render time but not that significant so it's kind of nice but right here even in the small steps you can see how much smoother and cleaner the light is when it's passing through okay so right here with increasing quality okay, you can see we have it a nice lighting also modifying a little bit with the smoke and passing through our trees so this is one way and again just how I mentioned before let me show you some other effect what we can achieve yeah, um, we kind of we adjust maybe right here I think Well, also increase spread but how I said before you not necessarily need to pop up all the way so if we're going all the way to other opposite of the um, effect okay right here and let's like just render to preview you'll notice you can achieve total different effect that's almost like a look you have a snowfall through all of this of course we want to maybe remove some of those lines let's see with these grayness it's look almost like it's snow going down again um, by manipulating you can achieve right effect and this kind of fun way to play this with volumetric light 
I hope it will give you some interesting tips and tricks so you can work around with this and get more from the view. Again, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeker Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekerplay.com.